All right, welcome, welcome. <clears throat> I already had to ban somebody before we even got done with the uh, intro music because uh, McMetz can fuck right off. <clears throat> oh, anyway, welcome in, guys. We have uh, gotten to September. We have one month to go in the regular season. We'll get that done today. And um, as you can see right there, we're half game behind the Cubs for the division. And we are first in the wild card race. Game and a half over the Phillies uh, with three and a half over the Brewers. Yeah, three and a half. So solidly in the wild card race as long as we don't fall apart. So, um, pitching is held up. It's done better than I expected. Um, hitting is, has been okay. You know, we traded off Goldschmidt, got Naylor, kind of even trade there. Donovan's been cold lately. Newt Bar finally, uh, got going. Uh, we do have Nolan Gorman injured right now. He's going to be out one to six days. So I don't know when he'll be back this week. It could be after one game. It could be after four or five games, but um, we're a little shorthanded there right now. Um, we also lost Tommy Edmond last stream. He's out one to two months with a broken hand. So that takes <clears throat> one of our fast guys and our center fielder out of action for at least the rest of the regular season, if not all of the playoffs. So we'll have to see when he comes back. Um, so that means we're having to um, shift Newt Bar to center. And um, Donovan's going to have to play. He's going to have to play second base right now. So we're going to have to play somebody out in the outfield. We really don't want to play in the outfield. So um, probably going to have to DH Luke and Baker then. And uh, Michael Tolia. He might end up having to play a little outfield. I don't know. Burleson might play DH. <clears throat> anyway, so we're going to have to do a little bit of uh, finagling until we uh, get Gorman back, and then we'll just stick Donovan out in the outfield. Um, see Sonny Grace, 15-5. and five. I think he has to win every game this month <clears throat> to get 20. That's going to be difficult. Um. Got our ERAs, almost all of them down to three and a half or less, which is outstanding. Um, bullpen made some moves there. And outside of Middleton, who got lit up his last two appearances, uh, Barlow, we just called up as part of our September call ups. Um, he was pitching great at AAA, though. Yeah, it's not going to show it. And uh, Murphy's not our closer. He's listed as a closer, but he's a setup guy. Our closer is JoJo since we traded away Helsley. So. Anyway, team is doing really well, better than I expected, and uh, I knew we had the offense. It was just going to be pitching, and uh, that's uh, it's held up way better than I expected. So um, we have one more game to finish off this Yankees series with. Um, <clears throat> I was looking at the schedules. <clears throat> Pardon me. We do not play the Cubs anymore the rest of the season at least a regular season. So we don't have any head-to-head -head with the Cubs. We do have the Brewers, the Reds, and the Pirates among division foes. Seattle, they're under 500. Toronto's in the playoff race. Cleveland's under 500. Frisco's under 500. Colorado's bad. Pittsburgh is eh, not great. Milwaukee. So we only have Milwaukee and Toronto as winning teams the rest of the year once I get this Yankee game over. So we we have a very favorable schedule for the month of September. <clears throat> the Cubs have the Pirates, but they also have the Yankees, the Dodgers, and the Phillies, and the Reds. So while they have Colorado, Pittsburgh, and Washington, and the A's, that Dodger series, the Yankees series, Phillies, they're, they're going to have a, a rough road, much rougher than us. So if I was going to guess, I would say we are going to win the division. Um, we'll see. Um, it all comes down to how they how the games sim out, right? <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
and they've already played their game for Sunday, so they won. So if we win our game against the Yankees, we'll be tied for first. If we lose this game, we'll be a game back. So um, I'm going to definitely play a game at Colorado because I want to bat in that ballpark. Um, and I think we will um, we'll do a lot of player locks like we've been doing just so we can get more action, more games, and go from there. Um, our, our minor league teams, are I think they're not going to make the playoffs. I know Memphis is not making the playoffs. And I don't think Springfield is like four games back with two weeks to go, so I don't think they're making the playoffs either. So we don't have to worry about our minor league guys. <clears throat> we did some player lock with our younger pitchers, Tacoa Roby and Tink Hentz, last stream. Um, so I got to play with them. So right now we're going to be focused on trying to get the division. And then we will play the entire first round of the playoffs for us tomorrow. Um, so we'll get through the regular season today. Tomorrow we'll play the first round, however many games that takes, whether it's two or three games or whether it's five games. Um, we will play that series tomorrow. And then uh, we'll figure out from there. If we lose, then obviously we'll do an off-season, a post-season, um, complete off-season with, with our signings and all that good stuff. Before I get in there, I want to show you something here. If you have trouble figuring out who's going to be available as a free agent, let's go look at pitchers specifically for the next year. They have to have at least six years of service. So look at this column right here, MLB service. <clears throat> you can go to any roster and you go to this MLB service page right here. Okay. If they've got at least six years of service, and their contract says 1-1. One, one. They will be a free agent at the end of the year. Doesn't mean they won't re-sign with their team, but that's those are the guys you're going to look for as free agents. And I'll show you. This is someone I'm looking at for next year, and you're like, why would you do this? Well, Michaelis is, is regressing. His numbers, his ratings are not good. We're going to owe him over $18 million next year. So I'm going to trade Miles Michaelis away for whatever prospects. I'm not going to get a major league baseball you know, major league level player for him. I'm going to trade him for prospects. Hopefully some some hitters, not pitchers, because we can draft pitchers. But I'm going to trade Michaelis off. And then I'm going to do my best to sign Max Scherzer. And you're like, why would you sign Scherzer? Well, he's definitely a free agent. And he's not going to command $43 million as a 73 overall. But if you look at his overall ratings, yeah, I see he's regressing heavily. But he shouldn't regress much more than that in the off season. But every one of those ratings, they're all pretty equal outside of home runs per nine. They're all pretty good, right? Even at 39 years old, I would say he's better than a 73 overall pitcher with those ratings. And it's better than Michaelis, and we probably won't have to spend as much money. Here's Michaelis. See? Hits per nine are down. K's per nine are way down. His home runs and clutch and control, everything's down. His stamina and walks per nine are the only good things. And we're paying him right now 18.6. We'll pay him another 18.6 next year. So if I can get rid of him, I'll bring in Scherzer for a one-year deal, buy us more time to get some of these um, minor league guys up. And if he starts heavily regressing during the season and he gets worse, we'll just get rid of him. He's a one-year deal, and we'll bring up somebody from the minors. But we're already going to need to replace Lance Lynn, which is probably going to be uh, Matthew Libertor, even though he probably should – he's not going to be studly. Libertor has low hits per nine, low pitching clutch. It's going to hurt him in the sim especially. Usering as him, I can control some of that, but – um, but we're going to have Gray, BB, Mats. Mats will be on the last year of his deal. So if uh, Lynn's going away, Libertor will replace him. And then we can get rid of Michaelis. What's up, Tyspot? How you doing, man? Doing great, man. Talking about replacing Miles Michaelis with Max Scherzer next year. Uh, One-year deal, and that'll buy us time for these guys right here, especially these three. And then the guy we drafted, and this guy too. Um... 
No, we're, we're definitely getting rid of Michaelis, and I'm definitely going to try to re- get uh, Scherzer on a one-year deal uh, so Max can retire as a Cardinal. Um, we shit the bed twice and didn't sign him. <clears throat> He's regressing heavily. Look at this. And his hits per nine, his K's per nine, his home runs per nine, his pitching clutch, control, all those guys, all those are low. And if you look at Max, he's still higher. He's still higher. So, so I was looking at that all morning. Um, but that's how you find those pitchers. Like, here's another one. Let's go to Baltimore. I went the wrong way. Um, means he's got six years. He'll be a free agent. He's on the last year of his contract, so he's going to go out there. With all the pitching they have, I don't expect them to sign him. Corbin Burns is also going to be a free agent. He'll probably get a qualifying offer. So Baltimore might lose one or both of those guys. But you're looking for a major league service of six years or more. And on the last year of a contract, those guys are going to be free agents. <clears throat> um, and that way you, you can kind of figure out who's going to be in the, in the free agent class. Um, and I'm also looking at getting an additional um, bench bat, better defense, better power bat for the outfield that can um, help us move Walker to DH, give us a better... Um, just a backup player in general than what we've got. Um, and I have found the guy because he'll be a free agent as well. And I've had him in other ones. It's Adam Duvall. <clears throat> He's got really good power, still has a good batting average, has good clutch. Defense is, is uh, not terrible. And he can play all three outfields plus first and third. So, you know, if Arnado got hurt, I would no, have no problem moving to all the third base and we'll keep the production. He's 35 and uh, we only need to sign him to a one-year deal. So I'm going to look at him as well as a, a bench bat that provides a little more oomph and uh, much better defense than some of the clowns we have on the team right now. So that that's for the next stream, but I want to let you guys know ahead of time what my game plan was. Uh, if I can't get Duvall, I'll look at Michael Taylor or Kevin Kiermeyer, so we have somebody else that can play center field in case we have a problem like we do now with Tommy Edmond being hurt, and that way I can leave Newt Barr and right. But uh, Walker Bueller is going to be in that pre agent class too, so we'll see. I just don't want to spend $30 million on on a starting pitcher this year. I don't think we really have it in the budget. So anyway, let's get in here and go. And let's just sim this game, and we lose. Yeah, I know. We lost three to two. Heave up three runs in six innings. Not bad. We just uh, couldn't get enough. Siani drove in two with a double. You can see the problem. Uh, I brought him Jose Fermin and Joe Barlow as our September call-ups. And it looks like we used a, a Sunday lineup with all of our backups playing. <laughs> okay, whatever. <clears throat> And now we're going to Milwaukee, and we better have our regular lineup in. Rotation is fine. Lineup, Donovan, Naylor, Ronaldo. Yeah, we set all of our good players. So we're going to play Brandon Crawford at second. Um, that 81 clutch will come in handy. Uh, we're going to play Burleson at DH against righties. And against lefties, we'll use Luke and Baker. And as soon as Nolan Gorman comes back, he'll slot back in. At second base, leave Donovan out and left. Newt Barr in center, Walker in right. <clears throat> so that's where we are. And having that injury to uh, Edmund is why I need to go get an additional outfielder that's actually worth a crap. Um, we we can't be uh, this shorthanded in a pennant race. So anyway, Mats and Junis. Um, we're going to do some player lock for batters here. Um, we're going to play a full game at Colorado. <clears throat> and I'm considering playing another full game against the Reds. And then if Sonny Gray has a chance to win 20 games 
at the end here, then I'll player lock on him to try and get him his 20th win. <clears throat> it's too late to stock up for the pennant. We're past the trade deadline. There's nothing out there in free agency. So, trade deadline was the uh, end of July. So, we have the team we're going to have. <clears throat> All right. So, let us player lock. And let's do Contreras. We haven't done him yet. It'll be interesting to see what they have us do as catcher on defense, too. Yeah, we do have sound. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. We got to improve the bench a little bit. And uh, we got to buy another year on our young pitchers. Um, I don't want to bring those guys up until they're in like their mid seventies. <clears throat> I don't want to bring them up at 71, 72. They need to be 74, 75 at least. Um, so we got to buy some time. <clears throat> All right. Hey, at least the shadows aren't really, really bad in the stadium this game. Sometimes you can get some really bad shadows off that backdrop, and uh, it makes it damn near impossible to hit. Kind of like playing. Guys, when you play at Minnesota, turn the weather to overcast, because if you have sun, if you have a bright, sunny day, you won't be able to see the pitches coming out of the backdrop. They've got, like, ivy on that wall, and uh, when the sun reflects off, you can't see. All right, looks like we're going to throw... Got him. He's out. <clears throat> we can see the shadows have changed a little bit in this game since the first AB, too. It's not nearly as bad as last year's version. Last year's version was horrible. When I played in Milwaukee, I would just close the dome every time. Ooh, just foul. A little bit out in front of that one. Ah, chasing. Don't chase. So I know I changed the format of my streams for uh, the season of not playing three full games and getting a little bit more, a lot more player locks so you can see more of the guys, see more of more of different games. So let me know what you think of that. If you like that better, don't like it. Um, we're now four nothing. Ah, jammed me. <clears throat> so, trying to uh, do something different, a little bit different experience, so you guys can let me know if you uh, enjoy that or not. Want me to do something different? Are we really going to steal third base? No, we're going to pop up. Okay. All right, down six to one. So I guess we're not going to win this game. <clears throat> nah, don't swing at that. I couldn't do anything with that if I wanted to. Bases are loaded, though, with one out. So clutch situation. This 85 clutch kicks in now. <sighs> Damn. Well, I can't hit a grand slam if I'm swinging that shit up there. He needs to get it over the plate. Just trying to fight that off. Well, that was not a good uh, player lock game with Contreras. Needless to say, I don't like batting with him too much. Oh, wow. Whoa. What the fuck happened? What happened? Wow. We pounded McGill and Milner. It's nine to six. It was six to one. We put up nine in the eighth inning, guys. And then I get a meaningless hit to left field with nobody on. 
A nine-run eighth inning. Wow. Okay, I guess they do want to win this uh, division, right? <laughs> My goodness. Okay, okay. That's, uh... No! I am not used to... Is he safe? He's out. I'm used to using R1 and R2, and I... I'm sorry. R1 and L1 to run for Diamond Dynasty, and I hit R2 accidentally, and we took off running. So... Oh, well. User error. Nine run inning. Nayla with two RBIs. Walker with three RBI. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll take that. <laughs> Gotta love when the Sim bails you out. Hobie Milner got no one out. Three hits and three runs allowed. And we are tied. Tied for first. All right. Aaron Ashby is a lefty. Um, we're just going to straight sim this game. And we win 2-1. to one. Arenado, two-run homer in the sixth inning was a difference. Naylor with two hits. Michaelis pitched well. Enjoy your time with the Cardinals because it's not going to be long. JoJo got his 24th save. Reese Hoskins got their only run. <clears throat> And D.L. Hall, another lefty. And uh, Nolan Gorman's back, and we swept the Brewers on the road. Walker and Mason win with home runs. <clears throat> Lynn pitched well. He pitched well in real life last night. All right, let's fix our lineups now that Walker's back. I'm sorry, Nolan Gorman's back. Change up that order against lefties. He's actually better against lefties than he is righties. Let's put you down here. He's sixty six fifty seven. Yeah, see, we we just don't have extra good bats on the bench. All right. Send that day, and we have a one-game lead on the Cubs now because they only won two out of three. No, one out of three. What the Cubs do? Yeah, the Pittsburgh beat them two out of three. Wow, that's huge. All right. All right, Sonny Gray and Logan Gilbert. <clears throat> <clears throat> this will determine if he gets a chance for 20 years. So he'll pitch this day, one two three four he'll pitch there one two three four this is pit game three game four game five so he's got to win all five of these games to get to 20 wins so all right logan gilbert a little player lock in this game And uh, we're going to lock with Gorman. Oh, man. I'm going to tell you right now, if we ever draft a, a stud hitter, I'm going to give him Corey Seager's stance and swing, especially if he's left-handed. Especially if he's left-handed. Y'all saw what I did with Corey Seager last year in our Rockies franchise. Um, that swing is phenomenal. <clears throat> All right, one nothing already in the first with one out. Somebody must have hit a home run. Probably Arenado. Nope, you got a base hit that got a run home though. Look at a moonwalk into the track. What the hell was that? <laughs> center fielder is doing the moonwalk all the way to the track can we see that last play let's watch Julio give his Michael Jackson impression look at this 
<laughs> it looked funny in uh, normal speed. All right, we got a 1-1 tie here in the fourth. Oh, that was a late decision to swing on my part. Oh, we got all of that one. Get up, baby. Get up. Get up. Adios, Pelota. <clears throat> there we go. Had to wait on that pitch. Got all of it though. 436. And now we're down 4 to 2. God, come on, boys. And that's in the gap. Is that going to get down? Get over the wall. Get over. It's going to drop. And we have to hold up. I'll take that. I'll take that. Brings the uh, go ahead run to the plate. <clears throat> that could have got down sooner and rolled all the way to the wall, closer to the bullpen. That would have scored Arenado. But we would have had a double. <clears throat> Come on, Contreras. Don't shit the bed. Three and two with one out. And that's going to be a double play. All that work for nothing. All right, one. Nobody out. I tried to get there. He stopped running. I was pushing him. He just stopped running. All right, whatever. <clears throat> All right, we're in the eighth inning. Throw to first. Got it. Double play out of the jam. All right, bottom of eight. Sonny Gray's not winning 20 games. It's four to three. We got two on and one out. Go, run, run, run hard. Get in there, get in there, get down. There we go, tie ball game. Oh, yeah. All right, two on, one out. No double play here, Wilson. All right, base is loaded. And Newt bars up. Come on, Lars. And he throws it away. Go, 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 go. All right. Got two runs on the play because he threw it away. And we get the dub. All right. Well, that's four wins in a row to start the stream. Well, we lost the sim game to the Yankees, but we've won our last four games. Gabe Spire and Gregory Santos got lit up. Mm -hmm. Three hits for Gorman, two for Arenado. Donovan, Mason win and Gorman with home runs. Walker with a steal. Sonny did not pitch great, but we got the win. Look at Zach Thompson with seven wins in relief. All right, all right, all right. <clears throat> I've been watching Mr. Hurricane's... Uh, Cardinals franchise, and he's uh, he traded away Goldschmidt early. I don't think he got enough for him either. Dylan Lasco is good, but he didn't get enough. Um, so it's going to be very hard as a Cardinal fan to watch him rebuild my team. So, all right, Bybee and Bryce Miller. Um, I'm just going to sim this game and we win and we're on a heater guys five to three three hits for Cal Rally two for Ty France Nolan was four for four with three ribs wow Naylor with a home run and Arnauto with two Walker another steal Bobby pitched great Middleton eh <clears throat> Romero eh but we got the save Nine Ks for Bybee. 
And we now have a three-game lead. We were a half game out when we started. We simmed that game and lost, so we were a full game out. We were a full game out on this date. And now we've won five in a row, and we have a three-game lead. Gorman's up to 88 ribs. Arenado's up to 75. Jordan Walker's 20, 20 home runs. Bybee and Gray, 14 of 15 wins. All right. And Brian Wu, I'd love to get this guy. <clears throat> Might have to wait another year. But um, let's see. You know what? We're just going to straight send this game. And we've won two series in a row in sweeps. Julio Rodriguez with a home run. Adcock got hammered. Donovan, one hit was a grand slam, looks like. Gorman, three more hits. Walker, two RBI. Home runs by Walker and Donovan. Mason win with a steal. Matt's pitch decent. Zach Thompson, another win. <clears throat> All right, well. Um, let's see, Lynn, Sonny Gray. I think we're going to play this game with Lance Lynn. Since Sonny Gray can't win his 20th game, we're going to play Lynn. And we'll do a bunch more player locks, and then we'll play a full game here in Colorado. So we'll have two full games, and the rest we'll have several player locks and some just straight sims. So... Michaelis and Hunter Green. Um, let's let's player lock on Donovan. <clears throat> Ellie De La Cruz is hitting eighth. And he's also hitting under two hundred. De La Cruz does not hit lefties well in this game. So if you're wanting to do a Reds franchise. Just know he's not going to play well against lefties. If I was doing the Reds, I would move his ass to outfield. <clears throat> they got a ton of infielders. I put McLean at short. Or before Marte got busted for steroids, I'd play him. And move uh, Ellie to outfield where he could really use his arm. He's a little bit too tall for shortstop, too. All right, Donovan does not have the strongest arm, so uh, I don't expect us to throw anybody out. All right, leading off the first, no score, so we got out of that jam. As good as Hunter Green is, his secondary pitches behind his fastball are not the best. reached don't reach don't reach for the ball ah bad angle on my part and it's going to give up the lead throw him out of third there we go out by a mile at least we got an out All right, man on third and two out. We need to find some green here. That'll do it. A little blooper. Ties the game. <clears throat> oh, I found out this morning that I'm doing uh, four matches in the uh, boys' high school district playoffs, including both of the semifinals. Two outs, so go on contact. There we go. All right, still one one game. Oh, it's 
Swing happy right now. See the pitches. Yeah, got in on me just a little bit. Didn't square that up. Diamond doesn't have a ton of power. So we need to hit line drives with him. Let's back up just a little bit so I get a better angle on the ball. <clears throat> I don't know why he almost fell down throwing the ball to the shortstop. <laughs> that was hilarious. <clears throat> All right, now we're down. All right, got to get on base. We're on a six-game winning streak. Uh. Yeah, it jammed me. All right, two outs in the ninth. Lexus Diaz is a little filthy here. And we popped it up. Son of a bitch. All right, well, the winning streak ends. That's okay. We weren't going to win every game. <clears throat> Three hits for McLean. Two for Fraley. McLean with a home run. Yeah, they scattered nine hits. No extra base hits. That's why we lost. Nine singles aren't going to get it done. <clears throat> but let's sim that and see what happened with the Cubs. They lost a half game, so they must have been off. So we were half game out. Now we're three and a half up. All right. And now we're going to play this full game. Now uh, let's wear these. Let's let the Reds wear these these bad boys. And uh, we'll wear these. Because <clears throat> everybody's well rested, so let's go. 115 average. Now just just I picked my lineup, let me go. All right, Lance trying to even his record out at 10 and 10. Cincinnati with these throwback vest unis. I like that uh, baseball head logo with the mustache. That's a cool logo for these guys. Here we go. Come on, on your horse. Get there. Get there. All right. Keep him in the park. He grounded to Gorman. Good throw. Out of the inning. Nothing uh, eventful happening. <clears throat> Abbott having a good year. All right. This late in the season, right field is not such a bad sun field because the, the sun is already down below the stands when the game starts. Unlike 
the summer months where it's just blinding in right field for the first three or four innings. Yeah. But you will see some pretty nasty shadows across the infield um, during day games, especially around 3, 4 o'clock. <coughs> Damn. Got so much sinus drainage from pollen in the air. It's fucking terrible. I need to go get some Zyrtec. I am off. Ah, tried to hold up. I am off until next Tuesday, so you'll be able to see stream today, stream tomorrow. I might try to fit an NCAA stream or two in. Um, there's a pretty good chance that this weekend at night, later at night, we'll do the off-season stream for the Cardinals since we won't have any gameplay. It'll only be a couple hours, and we can do it later at night. I don't need to be top focused because I'm not playing any games. So, yeah, just fighting that shit off. That was a ball, though. Wow, Arenado was a second round pick. <clears throat> when George comes to town in June for the uh, Cardinals-Giants game that we're going to together. We're going to be in prime foul ball territory, so that'll be fun. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Thought I was going to clip that upper quadrant there. Got him. There we go. There we go. Come on, Lars. This guy's dangerous. You got you know that from the A's franchise we did last year. Dude can hit some tanks. He is a deadly left-handed bat against right-handed pitching. So if you want a guy that platoons and has the better part of the platoon, this is the guy to go get. He's not going to be a gold glover on defense, but he uh, he can hit some bombs. Ah, missed my spot. See if we can backdoor him. Time to roll it over. Foul ball. First change up of the day. Got him. Didn't hit my location, but I'll take the K. that and I didn't get it. Gorman's one of those weird left-handed batters that does better against lefty pitching than he does righty pitching. Nope. That's inside. And what's funny was last year when he uh, came up to play full-time at the start of the season, our dumbass manager wouldn't let him bat against lefties for the longest time. Oh. Oh, by the way, at the end of the season, I'm firing all of our coaches and my manager because they don't have the greatest, they don't have the greatest boosts, and I hate this manager. So, we'll we'll spend some money just paying off these coaches. <clears throat> uh, Newt, a little early. A little early.
waited just a bit too late. I was trying to just float that in the center field and hit it right to Ellie. Right at Naylor. Right. A little cup check there. All right, Ellie. We've got to be careful with you. Let's see if you want this change up. There you go. That's what I was looking for. Tyler Stevenson batting ninth. Jeez. That's a pretty big bat to be batting ninth. Walker's handled everything in the outfield. There we go. All right. Three innings. No damage. <clears throat> Come on, Jordan. Get this party started. There we go. Exactly what I said. <laughs> I know, that gets old. It gets old listening to uh, Mike Shannon say that. He's no longer with us, so we don't have to hear it on the radio anymore. But but we'll give him a tribute for that. Bam. Gorman and Walker, the middle of our order, man. 4.30. Yeah. And I was looking at our minor leagues, and I was looking around the league, and I, I have a plan for when Arenado goes bye-bye. I'm definitely going to move Nolan Gorman to third base because we have a guy in the minors that's a B potential. He's already a 71. Uh, we got him from Texas in the, uh, uh, the Montgomery trade. There we go. That's a double. A Jordan Montgomery trade. Um Thomas Segisi. We're going to play him at second base and move Gorman to third. He's a little bit better defender at second than Gorman, so Gorman at third won't hurt us. We won't have as many balls hit the third base. So Gorman was a third baseman playing in high school, so that's where we're going to put him back at third. And uh, Segisi will play second base with Donovan and Edmund playing all over the place. And if uh, Scacy can't handle it, we'll just put Donovan at second base or move Tommy Edmond back to second base and get a center fielder. We still have Victor Scott, that stupid, fast, stolen base guy down in AAA, so double A. So whenever he comes up, he'll give us a great gold glove center fielder that can track everything down. <clears throat> so we'll lose a little offense in that trade, but... Oh, it's foul. That's foul. That's foul. Just missed hitting the foul pole. Four feet. Nope, he's going to catch that. I have learned to not advance the runner, just let the computer decide because it knows better than I do half the time. All right, all these left-handed bats... It's nice having left-handed bats, but when we face lefties, it uh, doesn't always help us. <clears throat> Jordan Walker got us started. I asked for it the very next pitch. Bam. He hit that off the end of the bat, too. This guy. See if we can get him to chase this fastball. Ooh. Got him to chase the changeup, though. That'll work. <clears throat> yeah, missed my spot completely. 
completely. Ooh. Oh, go foul. Nope. Took forever to corral that ball. What the hell? Should have been held to first base. There went our no hitter. Perfect game. And a terrible throw. And it's a tie game. There's no way he should have scored on that play. He stopped at third base. And I threw it home immediately. And he uh, gave us just a, an absolute terrible throw. Son of a bitch. It's out of play. Arenado's not going to throw the ball into right field. Come on. This fucking defense in this game is bullshit. Every goddamn stream, we got to put up with horse shit defense by the fucking programmers. Dude wins 10 gold gloves in a row and he can't make a throw to second base. I swear to God, EA has people working at San Diego Studios. That was a bogus fucking inning. top of that <clears throat> that ball was hung mm. late and I gotta shift to be more central and lower Dude's wearing Tom Seaver's number. Ah, shit. Couldn't hold back. I'm still pissed off at last half inning. Every goddamn stream, it's some sort of bullshit on defense. Never fails. It's like break tackle in NCAA 14. It's just a broken part of the game. Hit him, thank you. Because he wasn't getting on base. Come on, Lars, find a hole somewhere. <clears throat> Walker's on deck. Let's get some... Runners on base for him. Nope. 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 Oh well. What bullshit inning.
Is he going to catch this? Or is he going to drop it? Shocker. Shocked. Come on. Just fucking run back. Yeah. Just missed it. You gotta make this guy throw more pitches. <clears throat> But when he wants to lay it in right over the middle of the play, it's kind of hard not to swing. Get through. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Come on, Mason. I'm trying to see what his batting average is. And the uh, thing is in his way. 230 something? No, I can't see it because third base on the little thing up there is covering up where his average is. 233. There we go. Gotta get this to 250. You get a hot September. Swung over it. Put it right there for me, and I just missed it. What am I doing? to second base. <clears throat> All right. Lance can keep pitching well. Seems like that one inning is always coded in. You shut him down, eight out of nine innings, and then that one inning can't do anything right. Didn't chase. About a change up. Chase a change up for me. I'll take that. Roll that over to second base. Good throw. Thank you. Missed my spot completely. go seven K's refresh guys refresh your stream we lagged out there a second ago Got him. <clears throat> All right, let's get some runs. Just didn't hit that ball as well as I thought I did. Nolan, you need a big fly. Ooh. 
two different curveballs on the changeup. protecting at that point. Yeah. Another one. Scooped it. Late. I've been off all day with well, this game, at least with Gorman. Get it, of course. Got him. There we go. Big K. Turn and throw. There we go. All right. Battled. That might be it for Lance. <clears throat> I'll check his pitches. Was terrible. Let's go. I'm going to huck that one. didn't think I had enough to get it out. Hit it decent, but it was too high in the zone. Yeah, just trying to hit that ball the other way through the infield. And, of course, we hit it right at someone. Come on, Jordan. You're the only one that's hit the ball well today. And we swung under that pitch. Get over his head. Get over his head. Nope. All right. Two to one game off to the eighth. Lynn is at 82 pitches, so he's not going anywhere. What do you know? Arnado fielded the ball and didn't throw it away. If he doesn't throw that ball in the right field, we are in a tie game right now.
It's 10 Ks. A little too much of the plate on that one. All right, he's done. Let's see if we can at least tie this game. Just uh, got around way too early on it. Yeah, just trying to foul that off and I pull it. <clears throat> All right. Come on, Mason. Need your wheels on base. Got a piece of it, but he held on. At least we'll have the uh, middle of the order up in the ninth. And one pitch. Round out. Ends the inning. All right, new pitcher. Totally missed my spot. Three balls, one strike. It's okay, he's slow. It's not the worst thing. Take that. Slick little double play by Gorman there. Gets us out of it. All right. All right. Bottom of nine. Two, three, four coming up. Lefties hit him a little bit better than righties. And we've got uh, three of them in the first five batters he'll face. So maybe we can get some damage done. Got Naylor, Gorman, and Newt Bar out of the five batters coming up. Three lefties. 
Get down. Get out of play. Get out of play. Go foul. Nope. <clears throat> A little too much of that. Come on, Nolan. Jammed me. Go foul. Get out of play. Thank you. Right, tying runs on. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The high fastball, a little too high. There it is, walk off. <laughs> There we go. Got him to 91 ribs on the season. And that's where it stops. Okay. <laughs> All right. Lance did his job. Unfortunately, doesn't get the win. 10K, though. That one stupid inning. One game right here. Yeah, do auto. Sonny Gray against Nick Lodolo. And we have a four and a half game lead on the Cubs now. Cubs are struggling. Look at that. They've won two games the whole month. Got lost. They lost two out of three to Pittsburgh, two out of three to the Yankees. Got swept by the Dodgers. I told you they had a rough schedule. Now I can see them here winning 10 games in a row. <laughs> With Colorado, Oakland, and Washington, three of the worst teams in the game, they could win 10 in a row. So we've got to keep winning. And then they finish up with the Reds and Phillies. So this is where they make up for all of those losses. But we still have Pittsburgh and Colorado on ours. And the Giants and Indians are under 500, too. So Toronto's the only team left that's above 500. <clears throat> All right, we'll just straight sim that, and we win 10-6. to six. Benson and Fraley hit home runs for them. Arenado and Mason win, homered for us. Sonny Gray's got 16 wins, even though he didn't pitch that great. Walker, 3 for 4 with 3 ribs. Arenado, 2 for 5 with 2 ribs. Mason win, 2 for 4, 4 RBI. And we have a 5-game lead. Let's go check some stats real quick. All right, Naylor's hitting 307, Donovan 305, Newt Bar 307, 
they're all pretty equal. It's pretty much the same guy. Look at that. Their stats are very, very equal. Gorman, 23 with 91. Arnado's got 29 home runs. Wins up to 14. Contreras is sucking. We'll probably have to go find a new catcher at some point. Walker's pushing his average up. These guys are all just garbage down here. <clears throat> Sonny's still under three. Yeah. Check some. Uh, well, we can we can check team stats. Batting average. We're fourth in batting average. Twenty first in ABs. Not getting a lot of ABs. Tenth uh, in runs. Sixth in hits. Don't have a lot of doubles. Sixteenth. We don't have team speed for triples. We're near the bottom. Yeah, 27th. Home runs should be in the middle of the pack. 11th, so top third. RBI, we're 10th. Steals, we're going to be down the list because that's one thing we don't have enough of is steals. That's why I'm hoping uh, Victor Scott can do well and bring him up and let him play center field. We have uh, second fewest steals because we don't attempt that many. Uh, walks. 17th, strikeouts were third, third fewest. Slugging, we have the eighth highest slugging. We don't have anybody with 500, looks like. On base, we're fourth. Total bases, we're 10th. Double plays, looks like we've hit into a lot of double plays. Yeah, 28th. Errors. 18th ERA we have the sixth best ERA there's no way we would have had in the top half when the season started that I said we would have top half much less sixth eight complete games shutouts we are tied for the most shutouts wow saves ninth blown saves 14th it's allowed Fifth fewest. Runs allowed, sixth. Earned runs, sixth. Home runs, second fewest home runs allowed. Third fewest walks. 23rd for strikeouts. Freddie Freeman leads the National League, hitting 333. Cunha, 40, and it's going to have 30 steals. Uh, we got three guys in the top 10, though. American League, Trout's hitting 325. Harris has 49 doubles. Jeremy Pena, 41. Turner, McLean, and Carroll with nine triples. Josh Lowe with 10. Judge and Seeger with 45. J.D. Martinez with 48. Look at that. 113 RBI. Slugging 609, my goodness. <clears throat> 128 ribs for Seeger, 120 for Shohei. 121 runs already for Acuna. 108 for Judge. 42 steals for Mullins. 44 for Carroll and Horner. 99 walks for Schwarber, 88 for Bregman. On base is Trout and Acuna. Slugging is Acuna and Trout. OPS is Acuna and Trout. So Kershaw, Steele, and Sonny Gray with 16 wins. Burns, Ryan, Ober have 18. Holmes with 47 saves. Evan Phillips with 51. Wheeler leads in ERA. Corbin Burns leads the other league. Zach and Zach with four shutouts. Four by Cole. Gaussman and Cole lead there. Otani and Wheeler, 200 Ks. Yeah, there's your update on all of that. Standings-wise, we have a five-game lead. 
And the Cubs, they only have a one-game lead over the Brewers for the last wild card. So they've completely fallen apart this month. <clears throat> All right. Let's sim this game. And we win 5-2. to two. Another home run by Gorman. Another home run by Arenado. That's 30 for him. Mason Wynn with a steal. Bobby pitched decent enough. And uh, let's save before I lose all of this progress. And then we'll do another player lock against Chris Bassett. And let's go Jordan. Well, they got Springer hitting ninth. Wow. All right. <clears throat> I went to the stadium in the early 90s with the year the Blue Jays had the All-Star game. And we sat in center field under the scoreboard. Now you can't sit there. They got it all blocked off. <clears throat> Park is freaking enormous from the outside. It's it's huge. And we got our baby blues on because it's a Saturday road game. I couldn't find where the circle was. Throw him out at the plate. He's out. I misplayed it, but we got him out anyway. Oh, that's foul. Nice cutter. Nice cutter. Right, let's back up just a touch, especially since there's two outs. I don't want the guy in first to go to third by throwing it all the way to third base. All right. 2-2 two, two tie here in the fourth. Yeah. My seats when I sat here were right there in center field. But now it's all blocked off because they redid the stadium. Saw the uh, Mariners face the Blue Jays. Knuckleballer Tom Candiotti had just been acquired from Cleveland by Toronto. So that was his debut as a Blue Jay. Got to see uh, Griffey Jr. and Randy Johnson. We drove from St. Louis all the way to Toronto, left at like midnight, got there at 4.30 in the afternoon. And that's out of here. Um, and then after the game, we drove back to Detroit, spent the night, got up, went to Tiger Stadium, saw them play the Indians. Tom Selleck was there as well. He, it was when he was filming Mr. Baseball. And... He was there in Tiger uniform taking batting practice. What's up, KD with a raid? Thank you, man. Welcome, welcome. WWE? Ah, getting a little aggression out. Gotta love it. Welcome in, man. How was the stream? We are on a roll in September, man. We're putting the Cubs in our rearview mirror. But uh, we saw the Tigers and Indians, and I saw Selleck. And then uh, after that game was over, we drove down to Cincinnati, spent the night across the river in Kentucky, and saw a Reds and Astros game that Sunday, and then drove home. 
with a brief detour to the uh, strip bars across the river from downtown St. Louis. Damn it. Welcome in, man. How you doing? We're losing 14 to 3. What the fuck happened? We gave up 12 runs in the last two innings. Wow. 2-2 two -two game, and then it's 14 to 3. <laughs> Well, we had a nine-run eighth inning against Milwaukee when we were losing three to two. So, <laughs> yeah, we lost a we lost a game that we played because the defense shit the bed for one inning like it always does. Arnado, Gold Glove, Platinum Glove, third baseman can't make a throw to second base, and and that was the walk-off home run game. I'm sorry, that was we came back on that game. Never mind. But. Um, should have never gotten that by plays. Uh, take that. Full count. Come on. Come on. You know you want to groove one so I can hit this a mile. All right. I'll take the walk. That'll help the dis uh, discipline and vision ratings. And Burleson strikes out. Oh, I'm sorry. That was only strike two. Specta, I have five quarterbacks on my roster for NWO. I signed that 81 overall quarterback with 88 speed, and then I signed an athlete that can play wide receiver or quarterback. He has 89 speed, and I made him a quarterback. So now I have five QBs, <laughs> and three of them have speed in the 80s. <laughs> Although I might cut the one dude that was redshirted last year. And Ziggy may not even start. He might end up playing wide receiver. Fourteen to three. Jeez. And Eleven hits. Win with his fifteenth home run. Oh, just terrible stretch there. Stuck with Aller though. Yeah. I did not lose my maxed out offensive coordinator, so I get a plus three pretty much across the board on offense. <clears throat> Cubs and Brewers. The Brewers have caught the Cubs. And we just got done sweeping Milwaukee right here. All right, two weeks to go. We're going to play one more game. Yeah, a max OC. He sure does. It's going to make Miami even tougher. Let's just sim that. And we lose 2-1. to one. Michaelis pitched well. Took the loss, though. <laughs> yeah. Specta, you're the only person that I gave, I lost by more than 10 points to. The only one. Everybody else was one score. All right. Gorman knocking on 100 RBIs. Arenado's not going to get there, but he got his 30 bombs. Hey, Walker's up to 241. How long is Tommy out? Yeah, he's still hurt. He's not even down to days or weeks yet. He's still one to two months. That injury sucks. Well, if Lynn and Michaelis can get wins, we'll have five guys with 10 wins or more. <clears throat> All right, Mitch Keller, Skeens, <laughs> Paul Skeens, 52 Ks in 40 innings. Domingo Herman, Marco Gonzalez, their staff doesn't scare me. I would probably play another full game here if we were doing the old format for my streams, but um, 
let's see the player lock again here. And we'll do Nolan or Anato this time. All right. <clears throat> Their batting order is improved. Pitching's getting better. Pittsburgh's incrementally getting better, but they need somebody that's willing to spend money. But hey, we stepped into the stream half game behind the Cubs. And now we're five games up on the Cubs and the Brewers. So we have done our business in September. Get down. Just terrible, yeah. Yep. It would have been better if we still had a series left against them, but we we finished up the yearly series in August. And that's because Major League Baseball went to a, a balanced schedule, right? Where we play everybody across the league as opposed to just our division and one other division and a rival. But damn, we're down 5 nothing. Lance... Got raped in the second inning. That's through. That's two hits. Battling the regression here, trying to keep Arenado relevant, especially since we have to pay him thirty-two and a half million for three more years. Yeah. We're just going to hold you up because you don't have the speed. Yeah, baseball used to have good good scheduling, but now they're trying to balance it out. There's too many teams in Major League Baseball. There's too many teams in every major sport. There needs to be like four less teams in every sport. Every sport. NBA could probably get away with not having six because that would make all the teams infinitely better. NFL's got too many teams. NHL's got way too many teams. MLB needs to go back to like 24. <clears throat> Get down. There we go. Big RBI there by Newt Barr. Actually, two ribbies. Making a comeback. It's five to three. And then we turn around and give two runs right back. Yeah, and they want more. More teams. We don't need any more teams. We need less, less teams. Drop. A little Fister. We'll take three hits. And the way they blow through uh, pitchers' arms nowadays in MLB, they could, they could stand to have four less teams worth of pitchers. There we go. Arenado with his 14 speed is going station to station. He's he's not a burner <laughs> at all. Pitching arms, Specta, I'm going to give you a link. Here, infield fly. We're going to pause the game. I just watched this video earlier today, and... Um, this will explain it greatly. It's a doctor. It's a guy who does the elbow surgeries. Let me find the link. This is an interview. Um, AJ Pierzynski, he used to be a catcher with the White Sox and Giants and Twins, is uh, part of this interview asking questions. Let me see if it'll let me paste it in my chat or if I got to do it on my laptop instead. Am I logged in? No. All right, I'll find it over here. Give me a second. I'm always logged out on Streamlabs. So I got to use my laptop that I use to monitor my streams. Um, to copy and paste links. So watch that video. 
Yeah. They don't throw enough. They baby them too much. They don't throw enough, and they don't throw enough on a daily basis. And they've gone from pitching to throwing max effort. And the max effort pitching and pushing spin rates is why they fry their elbows. Um, Back in the day, they would back off, you know, three, four, or five miles an hour, and then ramp up when they needed to later in the game. They had extra. And now they just want you to throw as many pitches at max effort as you can, get you out, bring in some other guy out of the bullpen who's going to throw max effort for an inning, and they're just chewing up arms. I would never spend $30 million on a starting pitcher today because their arms don't last long enough. I'd spend it on a position player. You know, if you don't want this guy to go eight, nine innings, there's no reason to pay him $30 million. There we go. All right. Tying runs at the plate now. Watch that video. I have an article, but now the New York Post put it behind a subscription wall. And it was an article that they interviewed Nolan Ryan and Tommy John, two guys that do not throw the same way. (laughs) One was a soft-tossing lefty. The other was Nolan Ryan. And those guys would routinely, 200 innings every year, Nolan Ryan had a game where he threw over 200 pitches. He had like 16 strikeouts and walked like 10. Oh, we got the lead in the fifth. Rally going. This pitcher used to be a Cardinal prospect. Um, And Tommy John said his arm felt the best when he would throw six out of seven days. He would not throw on the side the day before a, a start. But he would throw the day after a start. He just wouldn't throw much. But um, they would uh, throw often. And if you are going to throw 150 to 200 pitches in a game, then you have to train your arm to throw 150 to 200 pitches in the game, which means you're not going to be able to throw max effort. Ah. The max effort stuff is... Uh, Great for the radar, but it's not great for longevity. <clears throat> so, until the major league front offices get out of the mindset that everybody has to throw 95 to 100 um, and get back to teaching these kids how to pitch. That's why they don't go longer than five, six innings because they don't want them they don't want them facing a, 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 a going through the order a third time, right? Because the stats show they can't get them out as easily the third time as the first or second time. But you know what? They'll never get better the third time through the order if you don't let them face the order three times and use all their pitches and figure out how to get them out three times. So it's like, Dad, I don't know how to uh, fix the engine. Well, son, it's too complicated, so you'll just change the oil and do that. If you don't do it, you'll never learn how to do it, right? get too many stat nerds too many uh ivy league economics and math majors in front offices fucking up the game yeah i i'm old enough to remember when guys would we had they had four man rotations they would throw they would start every third day and they only had like 10 or 11 pitchers on the staff to begin with. We didn't have 13, 14 man pitching staffs. We didn't need to. Relievers would throw two to three innings. The closers, they would throw two to three innings. They'd come in in the seventh and eighth and finish off the game. They'd throw 100 innings as a closer. Um, and that's because the attitude changed with Tony Larusa when he went to Oakland. But back in the day, they weren't guaranteed that they were going to need that closer the next day. So they would focus on winning that day's game. And we'll worry about tomorrow, tomorrow. Plus, they threw a lot more complete games back then. So you didn't need a closer to come in every single day. O'Neill Cruz, four for five with two RBI. Edward Olivares with a three-run homer. Well, not a three-run homer, a three-run double. Cruz with two home runs. Keller, eight runs. They got to him. Arenado, three hits. Gorman, three hits. 
Home runs by Contreras, Gorman, and Wynn. Wynn's knocking on 20 bombs, man. Lynn sucked. Zach Thompson gets his ninth win in relief. So, they, uh, they are doing it exactly ass backwards right now. If you want to solve the problem with the pitchers, let them go back to pitching and not just being an arm to throw as hard as they can for as long as they can. Get rid of travel ball. Make these kids, when they're in high school, not play year-round. Go play football. Go play basketball. Go do something. Go play soccer. They don't need to be playing baseball year-round. Um... All right, Brewers fell back. So five-game lead on the Cubs, six on the Brewers. That's exactly what we used to do. What's the wild card look like? Remember, we were a game out after I, after the first day of this month. Phillies, Diamondbacks, and Cubs. Brewers and Cubs are going to be battling for that last wild card. Marlins are trying to sneak in. We do play the Phillies the last week of the season. Reds are out of it. American League. Yankees have clinched. Orioles have clinched the playoff spot. Twins have clinched. Astros haven't clinched the division yet. Orioles, Rays, and Blue Jays are leading the wild card. Rangers have a very long shot to get in. Braves have clinched theirs. Dodgers already have 101 wins. <laughs> Goddamn Padres are 44 and a half games out. Ecstasy Natural, thanks for the follow. Welcome in. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Let me save this file. All right. So, when my younger son played um, select baseball, we had 12 kids on the team, 12 or 13. They're 13 years old. They're 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 years old. We had 10 kids on the team that could pitch. There we go. Hey, we're doing it, man. We're having a great September. We had like 10 kids on the team that could pitch, so these guys didn't have to throw too much. And they would only throw a complete game if they had a low pitch count. Like my son didn't throw as hard as this other kid on the team, but he could throw a seven-inning complete game and only throw like 79 pitches. Where the other kid... So the other kid would throw in the 80s at 13 years old, and he could only get three or four innings because they wouldn't swing. So, yeah. <clears throat> we worked on building up as many kids that could pitch and learn how to pitch so that we didn't have to blow through their arms at a young age. <clears throat> and you're not relying on one or two kids to get you through a tournament. So, all right, Sonny Gray and Paul Skeens. I'm going to player lock against Skeens because I want to I want to face him. We're going to play a game at Colorado just so I can bat in that park that we played in last year with, with our Rockies. Um, where are we at minor league-wise? Yeah, Springfield's done, AAA's not. Let's see if they still have stats for double A. All right, here's our double A final stats. Isaiah Drake, that's a dude that we got. Did we get him in the in the uh, Helsley trade? I think we traded for him in the Helsley trade. His his line isn't that great, all defense, but he simmed well. Yeah, we don't have a whole lot at AAA. We do have Elijah Green that we got from Washington in the uh, Kyle Gibson trade. Nathan Church is an A potential dude. He's just going to take forever. He's 23 years old, so he's probably more of a bench bat down the road or a trade. Um, Pitching-wise, Cooper Yerpe, 2.22 ERA, was 13-10. and 10. Tink Hintz, 9-6 and 6 with a 2.34. Remember, I left those guys in double-A on purpose. I wanted them to dominate double-A so they keep progressing rather than call them up in the middle of the year to triple-A. 
Takoa Roby, we pitched great with him on camera last time. 11 and 8 with a 332. Drew Rahm, 62 over. He's up to a 64. He's a 62 overall, 183 in double A. This is a guy we traded for last episode. So you can still see their ratings are not MLB ready. They got to get across the board at least into the 60s. So he's 23. He probably won't be a guy that we think about calling up until he's 25. Tink, he's he's getting close across the board. Um, I may start him in double-A again next year and get him a couple of months and then push him to triple-A. We'll see. Um, but he's a 70. I'm not going to mess with th- uh, bringing him up to the Cardinals till he's at least a 75. Roby, he's 22. He's just now a 70. He's more of a strikeout pitcher than the other guys. Um, Again, we may start these three guys in double A and push them up, flip them with some older guys in triple A. And triple A is still going on, right? So what do we have? Memphis, Segesi, 13 homers, 19 steals, hitting 299. This is the guy that when Arenado goes, we'll make him our second baseman and move Gorman to third. Victor Scott raises average a little bit up to 236, 39 steals. He had over 100 steals last year in the minors. This is the guy we traded uh, with Toronto to get. He's an A potential. Slowly moving up. Triple A pitchers, Graceffo, he's past his. What's up, Vontae? How you doing? Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Graceffo is uh he was our top pitching prospect, but he's been past he's probably a trade prospect for us. McGreevy, he's a college pitcher we drafted. He's probably another one. Shaver, we just got him from the uh, Braves. So he'll start the year in triple A next year. Um he's got one of his three options, he's on the 40-man, so he'll go to spring training, and he might uh, be one of those guys we bring up if we get an injury at the major league level because he's already on the 40-man. And you can see Libertor, that 46 hit per nine, 38 pitching clutch, 63 control. I was on Hurricane's uh, last Cardinals episode. Yeah, I'm playing uh, Cardinals franchise on MLB. Yep, it's franchise. But I was telling Hurricane, I said, you keep bringing him in in relief and his hits per nine and his pitching clutch are killing him. He's he got to make sure he doesn't pitch with runners on pace. Uh, but, yeah, this is where we are. Middle of September, so we're going to finish off the regular season today. Started out hot. Won eight of our first ten. Nine of our first eleven for this month. Um, so now we're in first place in the division, and we've got three, six, nine, twelve games left with a five-game lead. So just gotta keep pace, man. Yeah, franchise is is um, it's not bad. Um, I'd say Madden is better, but it's not bad. There's a lot of behind-the-scenes stuff you got to do with signing players in the off-season. And if you don't do it right, you'll lose all your minor league prospects. So you got to jump through those hoops of re-signing your players and dealing with arbitration and free agency and trading players and all that good stuff. Um, the base rosters for the major league players are pretty decent, but the problem is the minor league players aren't rated high enough and the progression isn't fast enough so that guys that made the jump last year like Ellie De La Cruz or Jackson Holiday this year – those top prospects don't get high enough, quick enough to to go to the majors and do well in the game. And then you have stupid regression on on the major league players once they hit 10 years of service. So once they hit 10 years of service, they start regressing no matter what. So if you bring a if you draft a stud and you put him in your rot in major leagues at 19 years old, when he hits 29, he's gonna fall off a cliff. <laughs> So you'll see, sometimes you'll see Mike Trout, he's like 33 years old and he's a 67 overall. 
So the regression on the regular players is too steep, and the progression on the young players isn't quick enough. And then the draft classes are very pitcher heavy, not enough hitting prospects. And then the ones later in the draft that are A, A and B potential are in the 40s and 50s, and they don't progress fast enough. It takes them forever to be usable. So it has its warts. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so. Anyway, all right, let's go uh, player lock with this one. We're going to play one more full game in Colorado. And uh, guys, it just came in. We will um, play the first round of the playoffs tomorrow, late morning, like uh, I did today. And um, we'll play every game, the full game. We're not player lock, and we play. Once we get to the playoffs, we play every game all the way through. Which means if we have a seven game series, we play all seven games in one day. So um, that's that's a that's a five and a half hour stream. All right, Skeens is pitching. So. I know I like to do this, but this is our, our stud power hitter, and I want to see how he does against flat gas. So um, we'll, we'll uh, play a lot with other guys after this, but I want to see how Gorman does against a guy that he's going to be facing on a regular basis in the division. And there's Sonny, 16-5. and five. Blew his chance to uh, win 20 games by... Having a, a little rough game stretch. Mike the Champ, thanks for the follow. Appreciate you, man. Welcome in. Sack bunt by Rowdy Telez. That's not going to happen. And it's 2-1 to one in the bottom of the first. So we got a man on second with one out. And he throws an 84-mile-an-hour changeup for the first pitch. <laughs> this guy throws 100 miles an hour, and he's going to light me up with a changeup on pitch one. And he has yet to throw me a four-seam fastball. There you go. Welcome in, man. My I am as well. I uh, oh, I went to game six and seven of the 82 series as a senior in high school. So I've been a fan since the late 60s. Man, he is not throwing heat. He's throwing a bunch of garbage to me. Get down, get down, get down. There it is, over his head. Come on, Nolan. You can score. Dig. Go. Why would you stop? What are you doing? What the fuck is this running? Gorman is completely lost on the bases. <clears throat> All right. Tie game. Hitting streak. Ten games. All right. Finally gave me a fastball and we turned on it. That's one thing Gorman can do is hit the shit out of the ball. All right, only one out. Come on, Wilson. 227 is garbage. That's a fly ball. We're going to go. Make him make the throw, and he makes a bad throw. We'll take that. <clears throat> All right, Lars. Find some green and get us the lead. We can get Skeens out of the game early. All right, he walks. And here's Jordan. We've hit two long home runs with him. Let's go. Let's go. And he strikes out. Yeah, don't get too excited. He gave up two runs. All right, one on, one out. Shouldn't have swung at that. Come on. Come 
He wants to throw nothing but junk. I thought you were, I thought you were the gas man. Green. Jesus. I'm all geared up for 100 miles an hour, and he's just throwing garbage. See? That, that's what they should be doing. They don't need to throw 100 every pitch. Still a tie game. One on, two out. Ah, waited too late to swing. Should have just took that pitch. All right, throw that inside again. We're going to sit inside, inner half. Ah, got under it. Still hit a long way to left field, but... All right, come on. Don't give up runs. All right, we do have the lead, and uh, Jose Hernandez is in. If you remember my A's franchise last year, this dude is really fun to pitch with as a user. The guy does really well. No, Vante, I'm doing a player lock. So instead of playing the whole game, I'm just doing the at-bats for this guy. So I can pick which player I want to play as for the whole game before the game. Um, when I get to next week and we play Colorado, I'll play the whole game. So I'll bat for everybody and pitch for everybody. Yeah, yeah. So they have things where you can go in and, and it's a critical situation. You're trailing and you're leading and you're trying to finish off the win or come from behind. And you can have it, you know, jump into games at that point. But I'm I'm picking one guy and just letting him bat and play defense the entire game. There we go. And you can do it with a pitcher. So all you do is pitch and you don't bat at all. You let the, let the sim take care of the batting. Yeah, we're not stealing. He's got two steal. His steal rating is two. There's no reason for me to steal. <laughs> we're not stealing. I'll go on three and two, but I'm not going right now. Now we can go. And he strikes out. All right, now we're trailing. We hit a walk-off home run with Gorman earlier in the stream. Ooh, thought we were going to get another. Bednar is a good closer. All he's a little dinged up this year in real life. One out. Just don't hit it on the ground. And we do. Promptly hit into a double play. Ah, I just did what I said not to do. Reynolds with two hits, including a home run. Skeens, three runs, five and a third. Scattered nine hits, two for Newbar, two for Wynn. Newbar hit a home run. Gray pitched okay. Murphy took the loss. All right, so... Let's see where we're at. Four-game lead over the Cubs now. So they started to win, which I said they would, right? Because, you know, they lost two out of three to Pittsburgh, two out of three to the Yankees, got swept by the Dodgers. Now they've won two out of three against Colorado and looking to win two out of three against Oakland. And then they have four against Washington. They got the Phillies and the Reds. And after Pittsburgh, we have Cleveland, Colorado, and San Francisco. I thought we played Philly, but I guess they had Philly. So we don't have anybody with a winning record left on our schedule. So that's good. Yeah. Let's just straight sim this one. And we win 11-4. to four. Just lit up. Domingo Herman Walker with another home run. Burleson with a home run. Siani. It was a bench game. Siani, three hits. Walker, two hits. Burleson, three hits. Tolia, two hits. Herrera, two hits. They emptied the bench. Look at that. Fermin, Herrera, Tolia, Crawford, Burleson, Siani. My God. We had three normal players in the lineup for that game, and we had 11 runs. <laughs> and uh, the Cubs lost to the A's. They lost two out of three to the A's. So how close are we? Magic number... Six. 
that's what this E number is, elimination number. It's what they call the magic number. So any combination of six Cardinal wins and six Cubs losses, the combination of wins and losses. So if we win three more, they lose three more, we clinch the division. <clears throat> Mats and Marco, I'm just going to straight sim that game and get on to those last three series. And we win five to one, so that makes our magic number down to five now. Arenado with another home run. Matt's pitched well. Three hits for Contreras, two for Arenado, two for Naylor, two for Siani. Let me look at. We are missing Edmund, and he's got three to four weeks. Remember, he was one to two months, and now it's down to three to four weeks. So. One, two, three. If we go, if we win our first round playoff series, there's a chance he's available for the next round. And if he's showing as like only a handful, one or two days left being injured, I'll put him on the active roster so we have him for that series. If he's going to be out for the whole series, then I, I won't activate him. But I'm hoping we can get through the first round without him and then he'll be good to go. Check stats one more time. 306, 303, 308. He's up to 273. He needs four RBI for 100. Arnado's up to 260s now. Wins in the 240s, 16 home runs. Remember I said we need to get him to 250. Walker's got 22. We have two guys that are, have 200 innings pitched. Michaelis has an outside chance. So does Lynn. Nah, they probably won't. These two, these two guys will get 200 innings, though. We haven't had any injuries to our pitching rotation. Bullpen outside of these two guys has been great. Save again. Yeah, he is. Let's see what he's... Uh... Yeah, he's going up all the way across the board, so that's good. That's really good. And Walker. Look at his fielding taking off. My goodness. We have him on fielding training. We don't have him on hitting training. So all that fielding is through training. And Gorman, his arm has gone up 12. My goodness. His power has gone down. I don't know why. He's got 25 bombs. I don't know why his power would go down. Arenado is regressing still, but his power has gone up. Like I said, we have three more years at 32.5 mil for him. Naylor, he's going up across the board. Remember, we traded for him and then signed him to a four-year extension. So, yeah. All right, Cleveland. Daniel Espino, he was a uh, um, um, prospect pitcher that we almost traded for. So let's go face him. What is he again? Lefty or righty? I thought he was a righty. Yeah, he's right-handed. Okay. Go to player lock, and we'll do Newt Bar this time. Mr. Lars, there's Goldschmidt hitting cleanup. He's down to 295. And uh, I didn't look at Carlson. Carlson's on that team, too. He traded Goldschmidt, Carlson, and a minor league pitcher for Nick Sandlin, Tyler Beebe, Bybee, and uh, Josh Naylor. So this is Goldie's return to St. Louis.
Yeah, we were not going to throw him out. All right, got out of that jam. No score. Two outs, bottom of two. Oh, center cut, and I just missed it. Lars has line drive power, not towering shot power. All right, up 3 nothing. bases loaded, two out, bottom of three. He needs to get that pitch up. Oh, fuck. oh he hung that change up, and I just couldn't wait. go oh, I tried to hook that foul I missed it when I missed that change up that change up was the pitch didn't have to hit a grand slam just hit it in the gap and score two or three runs Opportunity. It's all right. We're up three nothing. I'm gonna run. Oh man, I had it there in time. It was just a bad throw. All right, three to one. Back up with men on. Come on, Lars. New pitcher this time. Xavion Curry. Let's go. He's the kind of guy that bounces between starting and relieving. Ah. So early on a fastball. My eyes are itching so bad right now because of my allergies. Ah, fuck. It's giving away at bats. It's my third at bat with a man in scoring position. There we go. We'll hold up at first, take that RBI single, and it's now four to one. There's Goldie. I gave him his old 44 back. The only reason why he was 46 with the Cardinals is we had a, a veteran that was wearing 44 at the time and he didn't want to make him change his number. Close play at first. And there's a dub. Yeah, and I haven't had any Zyrtec for several days. Yeah, I know, it's getting worse. And after I get done streaming today, I got to go out and cut my big-ass backyard. It's like fucking shin high because of all the rain yesterday was the 10th day out of the last 11 that i've had to ref so the last two saturdays and sundays both weekends i had six matches each day so 24 matches over those two weekends so no time to mow the yard and i'm not going to mow the yard before i have to go ref michaelis gets his 10th win If you guys weren't here at the beginning, I said I've already looked at their their uh, their ratings and stuff. We're gonna go try to sign Scherzer on a one year deal and trade Michaelis for prospect hitters um, in the off season. What's up, Rocky Top? How you doing, man? Doing good. We're kicking ass in September, man. Um, so we're gonna trade Michaelis off because he's making eighteen million and his, he's regressing and his numbers are gonna be nasty next year. And I'm going to try to sign Scherzer on a one-year deal because his are better than Michaelis's and let him retire as a Cardinal. And then give our it'll give our prospect pitchers another year in the minors before we bring him up. Um, let me show you this again. So here's Michaelis. He's already below Tink Hentz. Look at that. So he's regressing badly. Look at those hits and strikeouts, pitching clutch, control. They're all low right and look at even even though he's regressing look at Scherzer 
he's still better. So if he stays that way in the off season, we'll sign him for a one year deal and let him be our fifth starter, fourth starter with, with Libertor being five. Um, and we'll let him buy us another year of progressing those those younger pitchers up so they're in the mid-70s next year. And if he gets hurt or he's ass, we'll get rid of him and bring one of those guys up, right? Because his durability's dropped 12 as well, so he might get hurt during the year. But he's not going to cost us $43 million as a free agent. So that's the plan. That's the plan for next year. And I'm also going after Adam Duvall as a big bat off the bench that could play all three outfield spots, first and third, and give us another guy that can uh, hit nukes when we need to. <clears throat> all right, Lance Lynn and Shane Bieber. We're just going to sim this game. Triple-A guy got hurt, broke his wrist, don't care. And we lose three to two. Bieber pitched really well. Lynn pitched okay. The bullpen didn't do their job. JoJo blew a save. <clears throat> Mason win three for six. Cubs and Brewers are battling for that playoff spot, man. We have a five-game lead. What is our magic number? Magic number's down to three. Three. Three more wins and or three more losses from the Brewers and Cubs, and we win the division. Three wins and get us to 90. I think we should be able to get three. We have seven games left. <clears throat> so realistically, we should be able to win four. Five would get us to 92 wins. So, all right. Let me go in here. And we're going to play our lock with... Josh Naylor. There you go. They got Carlson playing right field, hitting second. Goldschmidt playing first, batting cleanup. <clears throat> nice, beautiful day game in the fall. I have not sat in those seats before, but I have sat in the seats behind the right field bullpen. See where the scoreboard is behind the bullpen? Not the big one, but the low one. We've sat back there. Um, all right. He's going for his 17th win. All right, Josh. Said Goldschmidt had an RBI triple. So... Came back to beat up on his old team. No, oh, I should have let that go. Get down, get down. Drop, 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 drop. There we go. Jammed me, but we floated that over the shortstop. Get a man on in front of Arnato and Gorman. 0-2, oh, he's probably going to strike out or hit in a double play. Yep, struck out. Just what I said. All right, Nolan. Nolan, number two. He draws a walk. Take that. That'll help his uh, discipline and vision. Wilson is really disappointing. If he doesn't hit better next year, we'll look for a replacement. Uh-oh. That one's deep. Deep back to the left, to the wall, and gone! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> Get up, baby! Get up! Get up! And now it's only four to three because they came back. They're both battling to win that rubber game of the match and win the series. Ah, stay off that high shit. 
Josh has 90 contact against left against righties. I mean, that's one reason why we traded for him. He's younger. He has huge contact. So even if he doesn't hit a bunch of nukes, he can get on base in front of the guys that do hit nukes. He should be able to at least hit 2025. 20, the wind is blowing out stiff to left field. Oh, missed it. Newt Bar, two run homer. Now we're losing. We are losing four, six, three. Boom. Losing seven to six. Sonny's struggling down the stretch here. Can't believe McKenzie's still in the game. Get out of play. So after this game, we travel to Colorado, and I will play a full game at Colorado. We will we'll uh, we'll play a game against a right-handed pitcher, so we can see how far we can hit the ball with Gorman. There we go. Get through two hits for Naylor. There we go. <laughs> Tying run on, nobody out. Keep this ball off the ground. I just said keep the ball off the ground. And there's a double play. And now we have the lead. We got two runs last inning. All right, Walker hit us home run. Oh, he just missed that. I reached out, swung around it. What's up, Revamp? How you doing, man? Hey, we came into the month of September, one game behind the Cubs, and we we're very close to clinching the division because they've played like baby backs, and we've been playing great. Three six three double play, and you stole my linebacker. I wanted, dude. <laughs> That's okay. I think I only put like 3,000 points on him. That's okay. I needed I needed uh, all the points I could get to get the tight end I was battling with Jimmy for and another uh, defensive end that I really needed. So I got an 89 speed strong safety that I'm going to move to outside linebacker. So and I, t I told, uh, I told uh, Specta that I've got five quarterbacks on my roster now because I got that stud, right? And then I got an athlete that has 89 speed that can play wide receiver, but I'm going to list him at quarterback. So if I have to use him at quarterback, I can do audibles, and we can just list him with the wide receivers on the depth chart. So now I got three quarterbacks that have at least 87 speed. <clears throat> we lose this game 9-8. to eight. Goldschmidt, two hits. Naylor, the other Naylor, his brother. Rokio and Bo Naylor with home runs. Two hits for Josh, three for Contreras. Donovan, Walker, Newtbar, Contreras had two home runs. Wow. That's all we did was hit home runs. Sonny Gray's ERA bloomed from the low twos up to the low threes. Romero lost in another game. Maybe we flip him and Sandlin and see if... Uh, we can give him a break. Triple A team finished 73 and 77. We don't have a lot of good prospects at Triple A. Our Double A team's better. Double A finished the second half 40 and 29, but they didn't win either half, so they're not going to go on. So our minor league seasons are over with. So here is our double-A team, what they ended up doing. We already looked at these ones, right? So, Yerpy, Hence, Roby. Triple-A. At least AJ got his ERA below four. That's good. Segesi, 14, 19, 299. 42 steals for Victor Scott. 
Look at Antico. All right. Five game leads. Our magic number is two. So if we win one game and the Brewers and Cubs each lose, we clinch the division. Dodgers with 106. It's my daughter in law. Give me a second. Hundred six wins for the Dodgers, ninety four for the Braves. Astros only eighty five. Twins ninety two. Orioles past the Yankees, so they're battling for first place and the first wild card spot. And there we go. Phillies are going to get in as a wild card, and the Diamondbacks, Brewers, and Cubs are all battling for two of the three, for two of these spots. So only two of these three teams are going to make it. And they're separated by one game. <clears throat> she left me a voicemail. Scheduling for next week? Yeah. Uh, I hope we have a little bit of a break. Give us just a little bit of a break. But yeah, we're only going to get one more season in on uh, NWO, on NCAA. Even if we hustle, we're only going to get one more year in. Because... You can damn well bet they're going to shut down those servers when the new game goes live. <clears throat> All right. Cubs lost. So the best they can do is win out and have us lose out and tie. So all we need is Milwaukee to lose and for us to win, and we win the division. <clears throat> All right, so do we going to go with Bybee? We're not playing this game because Freeland's lefty, and I want to play against a right-handed pitcher. I believe Lambert is right-handed. I'll double-check that. Yeah, we'll, we'll play this game. We'll play this game, try and get Bybee a 17th win. <clears throat> Let me save this real quick. So this will be our last full game on stream. We'll, we'll still do some player locks as we go. I'm actually kind of having fun with the new format where we play less full games, but we do more um, player lock games. So I can pitch a whole game and not have to bat, or we can just... <laughs> Fucking dogs, somebody's here. I'll be right back. Give me one second. Sorry about that. I had to figure out why my dogs were losing their shit. It's just because somebody's walking their dog in front of our house. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Oh, Colorado wants to wear these City Connect. These are god awful ugly. They're just terrible. Yeah, we're not going to wear these uniforms. We're going to put the Rockies in the ones that I like the most. Those. Except we're going to give them pinstripes. Yeah. <sighs> 
Mookie Betts is now supercharged, guys. All right, here we go. <sighs> Last full game of the regular season. Um, as I said earlier today, we will play the first round of the playoffs tomorrow, however many games it takes to finish that series. <clears throat> yeah, the end of that game was just ridiculous. I'm surprised you guys didn't hear me scream, oh, my God, when you caught the ball. And that was heartbreaking way for him to lose and just a incredible way for you to win. <laughs> but, you know, I kind of did the same thing against him um, when I took the lead late. Uh-oh, that's going to be deep in the gap. I took the lead late, and then I gave up that long kickoff return. That, why did... I was using R2, which is the advanced button when you're player locking, instead of L1, which is the advanced button when you're playing the whole game. Cost myself a double. I need to change my controls so that it's the same for Diamond Dynasty and Franchise. Alright. That's going to be fucking deep. And off the wall. There we go. Should have been back-to-back -back doubles. <sighs> yeah, I've learned that trying to use her stuff makes you move out of the way way up more. Yeah. Shouldn't be that way, but that's the way the game works, man. That was rough. That was rough. I, I would have broken a controller for sure. I think he did. Oh, that's going to be out of here, too. Go, go, go. Off the top of the wall. I thought it was going to be a home run, so I didn't run. Cost me an RBI. That should have been three straight doubles. All right. Let's see if we can hit this one 470. No, but we'll take another double. <laughs> well, he's going to hold me to a single. But we got two more runs. It's three to nothing. Well, Specs is sorry, but we're going to knock off your Cubs. They're going to knock them out of the division right here. He's thrown six pitches, and we have three runs. This is Coors Field for you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you're in that in-between. You hate to win a game that way, but you also got to enjoy the fact that you actually won a game that way. Oh. If you did it against a CPU, you wouldn't feel bad at all. You'd be like, yeah, fuck that CPU bullshit. But against another person, it's, it's tough to see a game end like that. I didn't think he was going to catch that ball. <clears throat> Man, just hitting everything. We're going to have to hold him up. It's like our fourth double of the inning. <laughs> it's just like playing in Diamond Dynasty, guys. I usually play against the Rockies on Rookie to grind XP. <laughs> so... Come on, Mason. See if we can. We've already batted around this inning. I had a friend of mine used to call it bat around the horn. My buddy, Doug O'Schmuggo. His name's Doug. We called him Doug O'Schmuggo. Oh. Don't reach for that shit. Get totally impatient with win. Hey, four RBI in the first inning. Didn't hit a ball out of the uh, park. All right, Bybee. This guy is a nice, quick motion, so we don't have to waste a lot of time. Ooh, that was painted. Oh. 
see how the curveball works today. Just missed. Rogers doesn't hit righties as well as he does lefties, so we don't have to be quite as careful with him. McMahon, on the other hand, we got to worry about him tanking one. And then he bloops one. He's not fast enough. Walker, a lot to do out in right field today. All right. Pitch around that little blooper. Back to the top of the order again. That's his second, should be his second double. We screwed him out of a double by not hitting L1. If he was faster, that was a triple. All right, let's go, let's go. Come on. Way early. Don't mind hitting a ground ball to the right side to get him in scoring position, but we were way early. That might get him to third base. All right. Now, anything out of the infield should score us another run. He just missed a home run by about a foot last time. That'll get the run home. It's going to be an RBI ground rule double. <clears throat> Dakota Hudson, former Cardinal. Hold on a second. I'm going to listen to his voicemail. All right, voicemail is taken care of. Give me one second. Get back into this game. Daughter-in-law needs me to watch four of our granddaughters tomorrow, tomorrow night. Yeah. So, all right, Wilson. No, try to pull my hands through and yank it down the line, but we got a little too much in the middle of the bat. That's all right. Got another run. Keep tacking on. Ah. Didn't have the range to get that. I didn't want to dive because I don't want him to get hurt. If you dive on defense, you got a better chance of being injured, and I don't want my cleanup hitter being hurt diving for a ground ball. 
in a game we're probably going to win anyway. Five, four, three. Chase it. How about a slider? No. Change up. There we go. <clears throat> All right, Lars, your turn. Don't have a hit yet. And he goes deep. Adios, pelota. <laughs> oh, I miss playing in Coors. <laughs> <coughs> if we had the card, this Cardinal team in Coors, we'd 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 have a m multitude of guys with thirty home runs. <coughs> Gorman might hit sixty, and uh, all these guys that are in the teens would have it easily twenty-five. Well, got under it. Just missed it. Here's Burleson. Mr. Hurricane just traded him to the Angels for Joe Adele the other day. This dude can hit. He's not the most athletic person. <clears throat> He's overrated by both the Cardinals and our fans. He's just a bench bat at best. And his defense is terrible. Come on, get down. Get down, get down. That's in there. That's a triple. <clears throat> Good old Mason win with a three-bagger. Let's go. Come on, Brendan. You have a single and a double. Should have been two doubles. If we can leg out a triple, we might have a shot at a cycle this game. Yeah. Hooked it. Who's messaging me on Discord? It's NWO. <clears throat> All right. Yank that just foul. If you guys ever go to Denver and you go to a ball game, it's a nice ballpark. And there's a street that uh, runs behind home plate. And they have a bunch of like micro breweries on that street. So you can walk in and there's like, I don't know, 15 or 20 taps on the wall. So you can get some uh, good variety of beers, lagers, whatever you want. I lived out in Denver for from June of 83 until June of 88. So had fun living there. I'd probably still be there. Had my dad decide not if he had decided not to move to Florida. So there we go. He's got a one hitter through three. And that was a bloop ass hit. Yep, didn't get all that one. 
Didn't get all of that. It hit a long way because it's coarse, but we didn't get all of it. Let's go, Nolan. Ah, don't chase. I want to hit a home run with him here so bad. We can't chase. We got to stay back. He's going to throw sinkers. Make him get the ball up. There we go. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Bam. Hit that cheap ass slider a long way. You gonna give me the trail on this one? Nope. Oh. He hit that a long way, but that that was not hit square. Drop that in. These are all batting average and stat padding games here in Colorado. This does feel like Diamond Dynasty a lot. Except I play the game in June at 1 p.m., so it's all day games. Lars hit a tank last time. Can he do it twice? Nope, it's going to roll over it. All right. Another home run. <laughs> there we go. One pitch, one out. Gotta like these economical innings. That's foul. Don't bother. I almost went for that change up. Now we're going to throw a backdoor slider on him. Yeah, it's gone. A little too much of the plate. Told you McMahon was the dude I had to worry about. Swinging at shit pitches and getting uh, rewarded <laughs> kind of makes up for when we uh, smoke a ball and it goes right at them. <clears throat> I think 
Burleson's the only dude without a hit on the Cardinals. How did he hit that? What deck? Second deck. Didn't get to the third. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think everybody has a hit now. Yeah, tried to hold up. It's a strike anyway. Come on, Mason. Ah, should let that go. Even if it was a strike, I couldn't do anything with it. Get through, get through, get through. There we go. <coughs> Pardon me. Fucking sinus drainage. What is he? 57. His steal is so so low. He can only steal bases in the sim. Otherwise, I would I would send him. Even nine to one lead in Colorado, you don't stop playing <laughs> like it's a one run game. Never know. Once we clinch the division, which could be after this game, we'll we'll do a double shot for you. Three balls, one strike. Haven't done very many double shots this year. No. What a scoop. And then he throws it into left field. Wow. All right, Josh. Do some damage. Yep, that's down in the corner. It's going to score at least one, if not two. <clears throat> we're going to hold up. Man, we're hitting a ton of doubles today. It's the fifth inning, and we have 16 hits, guys. And I was uh, very impatient on that at bat. I should have not swung with that pitch. Now, here comes the left handed Nolan. I really want to hit one 500 with him. No, oh, get out of fucking play. Go foul. Go foul. I'm sending him if he catches that. <clears throat> The run counts. The guy from third scored before the tag, so we got another run out of that. Donnie, get on your horse. I know you're not the fastest guy, but there we go. It's hanging up for you. Yeah. Terrible pitch. <clears throat> Two blue pits is all they've gotten. Well, I'm sorry. And the long home run. Can't forget about the long home run. <laughs> Whoops. No oh, hey, spec to Mr. McMetz was in my chat before I even went live. I was still playing my uh, 
intro music, and I banned his ass before I ever turned the camera on. Now that was the fastest ban on my channel. I haven't even gotten off the stream starting soon screen and the dude got booted. <laughs> oh, don't swing it garbage. That was just a terrible at bat all the way around. Three horrible swings. What do you mean, close to making contact? Now we're just swinging to get the game over with. That's what we're doing. <clears throat> I don't know how I hit that pitch. Ooh, how did that miss? And how did he pull that pitch that was that far low and away? How is that not a strike? Hit pitch count 79. That's fine. I'll probably pitch one more inning after this and he'll be done. Ooh. Not only did he lay off, but I didn't get the call. There we go. All right, one more inning for Bybee, and he's done. That's a double. Any speed at all would be a triple. Reached. <sighs> Got into my kitchen. We're not going to run. There's no point. Guys, when's the NFL draft? It's got to be in the next couple weeks, right? 
since I don't do fantasy, the, the rules and salaries and shit for fantasy football anymore, I lose track of when the drafts are. Got him. Next weekend? Okay, thank you. Plus, we don't have a team here anymore, so there's nothing in the news. Not that I'd be able to read it anyway, because our, our newspaper requires you to have a subscription to read it online. It's like, you guys don't say anything worth me spending any money on, so I guess I just won't read any of your shit. Hopefully this is his last batter. Yeah. See if we can get him a chase of change up. He did, but he pulled it. All right, high heat up and away. Nope. Slider down and in. Got him. All right, Bybee's done. Seven innings, one run. Did his job. <clears throat> Come on, Nolan. Ooh, shit. I shoved my uh, PCI over to the right, so I jammed myself, essentially, and I pitched right down the middle of the plate. I'm going to hawk that ball into the corner. Just trying to shoot that to that hole on the right side. That's in the gap. Man. We're closing in on double-digit doubles in this game. This is ridiculous. No, don't. Don't. Come on, man. We swing at strikes. Don't chase. Then you gotta hold him up. It's too shallow. You know it's a bad throw. Gives us an RBI chance for Jordan. Come on, Jaywalk. Hit one really deep for me, okay? I'm going to send him, though. Get him an extra RBI.
and take some guys out so they don't get hurt. That's yeah, gone. It's amazing they can turn around a high inside fastball. That's a hell of an AB by Bouchard. That's why we always have one charging. God damn it. Here we go, out of that mess. <clears throat> Win with a single and a triple. See if we can get him another extra base hit here. Just hang on for a single. That's all right. Help us contact go up. Three hit game. <clears throat> Come on, Donnie. Just need to get this game over with so we can finish this month. Tolia, we got him from Colorado from Matt Carpenter back in July, June. And it's just a lazy fly ball to right center. And Nolan, trying to get him four hits. Can we go deep again?
Not a home run, but might be an RBI double. Definite RBI double. Exit velocity of 108. <laughs> Brandon Crawford, our first at bat with Crawford. And he hooks it. Rogers gets it. And we go to the ninth. Let's go. Let's get this game done with. This fan is just a little too good. It's trying to freeze my nuts off. This is my spot, and thank God it stayed in the park. That eliminates the Cubs. Donovan two for six, Naylor two for five, Arenado four for six, Gorman two for four, Contreras three for five, Newt Bar two for five, Walker two for four. Burleson two for five. Win three for five. We had one, two, three. I'm sorry. One, two, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We did. We had ten doubles, one triple, and three home runs in that game. Arnado had three doubles and a home run. Ten doubles, a triple, and three homers. <laughs> wow. <coughs> okay. God, I love playing in Colorado. <clears throat> and uh yeah hall of fame hitting legend pitching just so anybody anybody wonders and the brewers are five games back with five games left so we haven't clinched yet <clears throat> So, I'm going to player lock one guy. And uh, hopefully the Brewers. It won't matter what the Brewers do as long as we win. Peter Lambert. He's a righty. Okay. So, mm -hmm. let's do Mason win. <clears throat> All right. We clinch the division in this game. We'll just do the uh, quick sim on the rest of them, get the month over with, and get ready to play the uh, playoffs tomorrow. <clears throat> Nolan Gorman with a two-run homer and a first. to see that? Walker with an RBI double. 
See if we can chase him in. Wins up to 246. Got to stay hot this last week. Want to get him to 250. Oh, he hit that hard. What a catch. I thought I hit that just enough to get it out of here. At least over his head. It's all right. We moved him up to third. <clears throat> There we go. Six four three. Gets rid of that. Now it's eight to nothing with her. Contreras, Burleson, and Walker had a three run double. Two singles and a three run double. So Walker's got four RBIs in three innings. Maybe tried to hit that. Swung over it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Throw it out here. Give me an outside pitch. Mm. Squared it up. It just didn't hit it good enough. Thought I hit it well. Wasn't perfect. Perfect. Nine to two. Good throw. There we go. In the inning. Still 9 2. One out here in the fifth. New pitcher, Austin Gomber. Guy we pawned off on Colorado in the Arenado trade. Ah, just let that pitch go. Just wasting at bats now. Pirates are beating the Brewers. Won't matter. We win this game. We hang on and win. We win the division. This might, might be his last at bat. He might get up one more time. Probably will. Because we'll probably score more runs. At least get guys on base. Bam, there we go. Player lock, I got to hit R2. So I hit L1 to run like I did during the game, and it changed the view. So goddamn cluster. 24 doubles is nothing to sneeze about. <clears throat> Come on, Donnie. Knock me in. Strike out. All right, Josh. He's three for four. Again, hit the R2 button. Sent the guy. Whatever. It's 10 to three. That should give us the win. There it is. Cardinals win the division, boys. And that's a winner. That's a winner. You know what time it is. Hopefully the first of many division titles. See what we do in the playoffs. 
Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Appreciate all you guys. And uh, we'll finish off this season, this regular season, as soon as I get done with this shot. And then we'll rate right out, let you go find someone else to watch, and then we will be back tomorrow for the first round of the playoffs. That was smooth. <laughs> Three doubles for Jordan Walker. My goodness. <clears throat> the series in Colorado near the end of the year is going to help boost our stats. <clears throat> And there it is. Got the Y. Clinched the, the division. And the Cubs have a half game lead on the Brewers. So, Specta, your boys are still battling, trying to beat out the Brew Crew for that last playoff spot. <clears throat> Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks are only a game and a half ahead of the Brewers themselves. So, <clears throat> stats. He's up to 310. Gorman has 101 RBI now. 301, 310. Arenado, 32 homers, 85 ribs. Mason Wynn, 246. He might have a 2020 in him down the road. Contreras up to 239. Walker's up to 251 with 24 bombs. <clears throat> Gray's over 200 innings with 16 wins. Bybee will go over. I think he's going to pitch the last day of the regular season. That'll get him over 200 innings. Michaelis, um, I think he's got one more start. That would get him over 200 innings. Man, doing way better than I expected. All right. Let's see what Michaelis does here. And we win 6-1. to one. Sweep. A home run by Newt Barr and Contreras. 11 and 12 for Michaelis. He's doing well. We're going to ship his ass out, though. Thank you, Miles. Appreciate you. I like him in real life, but not in this game. <clears throat> Brewers and Cubs are tied. They are tied. All right. We have three against the Giants. Then the Brewers play the Mets, and the Cubs play the Reds. Ooh. <laughs> All right, we'll go back and look at theirs as we go through. I'm not going to play anymore. We're just going to sim. Lance Lynn and Blake Snell, and we lose 2 to nothing to Snell. Lynn pitched well. He's trying to get his 10th win. Two solo homers. 13 strikeouts for Snell. My goodness. <clears throat> the Brewers beat the Mets, <clears throat> and the Cubs lost to the Reds. Cubs are one game out with two games to go. Sonny Gray, they lose 9-1. to one. He's really stunk it up down the stretch. Gorman with another home run. And Fordo hit a home run. Kyle Harrison pitched decent. And the Brewers lost to the Mets, and the Cubs beat the Reds. All right, here it is, Specta. The Brewers and the Cubs are tied. They are tied. <laughs> they are tied going to the last day of the regular season. <clears throat> All right. Bybee. Don't win. We won 90 games. We were 90 and 72. Mason Wynn and Donovan with home runs. Bullpen blew it. I forgot to move out JoJo, didn't I? <laughs> All right, here we go. The Brewers lost to the Mets. And the Cubs beat the Reds 13 to 1. The Cubs make the playoffs. There you go, Specta. They're probably going to have to play us in the first round. How much you want to bet? There it is. <laughs> On the far right. Your consolation prize for winning 
that last game of the regular season is you get to play the Cardinals. <laughs> well, Arizona plays Philadelphia. Hey, you made the playoffs, you get the playoffs. <clears throat> Over on the other side, Yankees won the division, so Baltimore takes on Tampa Bay. So they had three teams from that division. Houston takes on Toronto. So there are your playoff teams. And we get to play the Cubs in the first round. All right, let me save this because I got to make sure I set my playoff roster proper. And we can go look at the standings one more time. 90 wins, 111 wins for the Dodgers. 98 for the Braves. Orioles win 100 games and they're the wild card. <laughs> Astros only win 87 games. Twins 95, Yankees 101, Orioles 100. Rays won 91 games and they're a wild card team. League leaders, Freddie Freeman, 338. Mike Trout, 329. Freeman and um, Arise with 200 hits. 53 doubles for Michael Harris. 47 for Jeremy Pena. 12 triples for Josh Lowe. 9 for McLean Carroll and Turner. J.D. Martinez hit 50 fucking four homers. <laughs> 54 home runs for J.D. Martinez for the Mets. There you go, franchise. 54 home runs. Good Lord. 47 by Judge and Seager. Seager with 139 ribs. Otani with 142. 133 runs for Acuna. Trout with 114. Do we have anybody with 100? No. 48 steals for Horner, 47 for Mullins and Ruiz, 105 walks for Soto, 105 for Schwarber, Freeman, look at Martinez, 618, my goodness, over 1,000 OPS for Freeman and Trout, wow, Burns, Ober, and Ryan had 20 wins, check that out, Twins had two guys with 20 wins. Kershaw, Steele had 19. 57 saves for Evan Phillips. 53 for Yohan Duran. Cortez had, Cortez had a 259 ERA. Wheeler, 228. Stroman only gave up nine home runs. Five shutouts by Cole. Six by Wheeler. Lord. Otani, 238 strikeouts. So the National League had five guys with 200 Ks. American League only had two. Cole and Gossman. Complete games. Innings pitched. Walks allowed. Whip. Zach Wheeler under a one whip. And a six pitching war. He had to be. Nine and a half for J Trout. Nine for Judge. <clears throat> All right, J.D. Martinez was National League MVP. Corey Seager was American League MVP. Corbin Burns, American League Cy Young, just in time to be a free agent. Glass now won the Cy Young in the National League. Freeman wins the batting title. Trout wins the batting title. Reliever of the year is Duran and Phillips. Rook of the year is Yamamoto and Colt Keith. Hank Aaron goes to Trout and Freeman. Do we have any gold gloves? Naylor was second at first. Tommy Edmond got a gold glove in center field, missing the last month of the season. Tatis got it in right field. Silver Slugger. Nothing for us. All right. Final stats. Naylor, 1675 and 305. Gorman, 27, 103, and 277. He still dropped his power. Look at his arm. It's up plus 12. My goodness. Donovan, 301, 17 and 67. Newt Bar, 310, 15 and 64. Arnado, 263, 32 and 85. Edmund, injured. Says, still says two to three weeks. So we'll have to wait until after the first round of playoffs and see what it says. 
we make it to the uh, NLCS, he might be available. Mason Wynn, nice progression across the board. Contreras probably regressed. Yeah. <clears throat> Jordan Walker, 24 and 71. Look at that. Fielding goes up. I like that. Herrera. I don't know why he was up. I didn't call him up. So we had three guys with 200 innings. My goodness. Sonny Gray is regressing. But he's still high, right? So we got him for two more years. We'll keep him for two more years. Bybee. It's kind of up and down. Less hits than he's pitched. 23 home runs. I'm not sure how many of those. I'm not sure how many of those were with Cleveland with us. We'll, we'll have a better. But look, his contract is only $2.8 million moving forward, so we don't pay him shit. <clears throat> Michaelis, he is regressing. Even though he was 11 and 12, we will get rid of him at the end of the year for whatever we can get. Lance Lynn did well. You can be a free agent, go off into the sunset. Mats, we have one more year with him. While his hits were above his innings pitched, he was serviceable. We'll take one more year out of him. And Libertor went up, but he's not anything special. He'll be the number five if I decide to keep him in the rotation. Uh, bullpen, Gallegos was okay. Thompson was great. Nine wins. JoJo was a little rough down the stretch. His ERA jumped a full run. We might make Sandlin the closer in the playoffs. And I don't know why this guy was up. I'm going to have to change that because it, it like brought up King and dropped Middleton, and I didn't do that. <clears throat> All right, top prospects. Walter Jenkins is number one. Sports kid, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Welcome in. Jenkins is only 19. He's a stud player for Minnesota. Drew Jones, not progressing a whole lot. We thought about trying to get Thurston Waldrop. Um... Harry Ford, we talked about trading him. Can I give you a favor? Depends on what it is. James Wood. Here's our best prospects. Green and Hens are down in double A. Martinez, I don't know why they brought him up and burned one of his. Let's try this again. Here we go. Uh, we might have Smith Shaver come up at the end sometime next year, be our fifth starter. Scott's got some sub to you on YouTube. Yeah. I don't sub to anybody that I haven't watched their con their their stuff, so sorry about that. You gotta you gotta have content that's worth watching, man. So I can I can check you out on YouTube, but uh I have a hard enough time getting my own subs. All right, Roby. Roby's doing okay. Sagacy. Could be better. Church didn't progress much at all. Europe's okay. Graceffo. Yeah. Yeah, we got to get, as you notice, we have a lot of pitchers and they're not outstanding pitchers. So not only do we need to have more pitchers, we need to add more position players. And we did get one good pitcher in the draft. We did get an A potential older outfielder that we can trade off if we need to make a deal. <clears throat> so who's hurt going into the playoffs? He's still two to three weeks away. Um, Dodgers, nobody special. Orioles, nobody special. Yankees, nobody special. Tampa Bay, nothing special there. Twins don't have a backup catcher. Duran's out one to two months. Braves, Darno's out one to two weeks. Strider, remember he got hit in the head with the line drive, so he's out for the year. <clears throat> 
Phillies, nobody special. Cubs, nobody hurt. Brewers, man. That's why they missed the playoffs. No Peralta, no Contreras. Um, Edmund is our biggest issue. So, most everybody's healthy going into the playoffs. <clears throat> All right, we'll save this. I'll fix my uh, playoff roster before we stream tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, that is that. So let's see who is streaming, who can we go raid. <clears throat> you guys have anybody you want me to go raid? Otherwise, we're going to hit up Man Cave Hawkeye again. Um, but, hey, we had a big crowd all day today. I appreciate you guys, man. Thank you for uh, spending today with me. You didn't have to, and you did, so I appreciate it very much. But uh, we'll be back tomorrow around 10-ish um, a.m. Central Time tomorrow. And uh, we'll, we'll get that first round of the playoffs against the Cubs. It's only best of three, so it's only going to be two or three games, so it won't take all day. And uh, then we'll move on from there. Uh, if we lose to the Cubs, then I'll do the off season either Friday night or Saturday night. If we win, then we'll probably kick into next week on Monday and play on Monday because I don't ref till Tuesday. <clears throat> so, anyway, let's go raid Man Cave. You guys take care. Appreciate you all. And uh, we'll get this raid started and we'll head on over there. I'll give you the uh, thanks for watching and I will see you tomorrow late morning central time. And uh, you have a good rest of the day. Mm -hmm.